rewarding than to be involved in public service. There's probably nobody here from Groton, right? All right, we've got one person. What's your school motto? Oh, um, oh, I, oh never mind. I, go, I live in Groton, Connecticut. Oh, I'm sorry. I met uh, the Groton School up in Massachusetts. Oh. And could you translate it? I, I understood that, but there may be others here whose Latin isn't as good as, as yours. Yeah. I think it's to serve is to rule. To serve is to reign, or to serve is to rule. And I think that uh, my experience in public life has demonstrated that there's no higher calling than to serve the public, and that through service, that's the way you can make a difference. I love my job. I love working. What do you define uh, filibuster as and what do you think the purpose should be? And <coughs> how would you compare what it is right now to what you think it should be? I'll have a, I'll have a stab at that. I'm, I'm really not an expert on filibusters at all. My understanding is it is um, a way in which one party can prevent uh, something from being passed in Congress. Um, and I think it requires a sort of 60 majority, 60 40 to, to override it. Um, perhaps I can just make a general observation because I've lived in Britain and America. And it is to me very interesting how different the political systems are. In America, it seems to me, the system is more or less designed, uh, I don't think I'm exaggerating very much, it's more or less designed to discourage things from getting done, to make it hard to get things done. You, know, you have very frequent elections, um, it's very, very easy for the president to be of a different party from the majority in either House of Congress. It seems to me it was designed to prevent things from happening. The British system is actually the exact opposite. Um, if to be the government generally, you have to have a majority in the House of Commons, and if you've got a majority in the House of Commons, generally speaking, you can get your program through. And it is to me very interesting just to observe the difference <coughs> that filibuster is part of that whole point about in America. It's much more important. Yeah, I'm going to go Well, I, I'm just thinking, uh, being a state senator, the power of the filibuster is unbelievable. And it's not even vesting power in a particular party, it's vesting power in an individual. Uh, there's an individual state senator in Connecticut who wants to hold up a particular piece of legislation, even if that legislation is supported by 90% of his or her colleagues. The consumption of time, which is the most precious commodity all of us have, one individual, we have unlimited debate in the Connecticut State Senate, so one individual, through the consumption of time, can prevent the passage of legislation. In my judgment, it can be abused and it can be uh, obstructive. And yet, when you want to protect the rights of minorities, it's helpful to have tools that enable individuals or small groups of individuals to draw the public's attention to something which they think is undesirable. But my judgment is what we see now in Washington, D.C. is uh, the antithesis of what the founders envisioned when constructing our democracy. And I, my belief is that the American public is extremely um, hungry uh, to see us begin to return to what we ought to be about the business of doing, which is governing this country, rather than seeing partisan advantage as the enemy of political life. We, uh, in local politics, at, at, these, at the size of our local towns, we only have three on the board. We have no filibusters, so to speak. We, um, we, uh, we try to have three zero votes. Uh, we're not doing as much policy as we are the nuts and bolts of, of managing a small town, budgetary, things like that. And, and if you do have a two to one vote, um, I think it's really important to wonder why and to try to try to fix that problem if it continues and, and I'm glad we don't have filibusters over here.
that was a little unnerving and uh, inappropriate. So if there, I would be less than honest if I didn't suggest that there are elements of stress that are um, embedded in this process, but they're worth enduring uh, because I think uh, this, what, what we as elected officials do on both sides of the aisle, I don't think the public gives people who serve the credit that they generically and collectively deserve, having served in the state senate uh, with Republicans and Democrats alike, the press loves to seize on to the one or two um, miscreants, but in the, in the main, uh, people are there for all the right reasons. I, I've found at the local level, people are generally very respectful and uh, polite, and you do get um, jumped on once in a while, and you have to be ready for that. I once said to somebody, a friend, uh, I wonder if blog originated from flog, um, because you really can get hammered on the internet. But it, it's rare, and um, I think in general people are pretty civilized about it, at least at the local level. I, I'm not a politician, uh, but to answer your question, I, I think you know, look at what look at what happened with Mitt Romney in the last uh, week with the with the video that came out. I, I understand I understand why that went viral and why everybody watched it and and so on. But it reminds me also of the of the comments that Barack Obama made, the, the clinging to their guns and religion comment that he made some years ago. These are, as Senator Rohrbeck said, these are men who are, are think that they are speaking candidly off camera, that they, they are trying to be uh, genuine, they are trying to get to their authentic point, whatever it might be, and they think they, they, think they are speaking to people that uh, agree with them. Uh, I, I don't think we want a situation. Right? This event that I went to yesterday, some of the discussion was cut a little bit short because there was one of one of these trackers in the room with a camera recording everything. Who knows what kind of commercial it's going to end up on, and so on. And I, I absolutely agree that someone's house uh, is, does not belong as part personal home belongs as part of a campaign. We should agree. We should disagree based on.